Welcome everyone, I'm here for a really exciting interview with Matt Coffey, the Chief Executive Officer of Oncolytics Biotech. Matt, thanks for being with us, how are you? Thanks for having me, Michael. Absolutely, we're really excited to talk about some things that Oncolytics is doing with you. So let's get a brief intro to the company and some of the things that you guys are doing. Let's start by talking about Pelorea Rep. What is an Oncolytics virus? Can you give us some context here? Sure, what we're developing, um, and Oncolytic viruses are entities uh, based on a virus that replicates specifically in tumor cells. So onco is, is cancer and lysis is to lyse or destroy. Um, what's unique about our product is really what it's doing is it's signaling to the immune system uh, that there's an infection and that the immune system should target those cells for destruction. And, and the beautiful thing is what we're targeting is cancer cells. So very selectively, we're teaching the immune system to recognize cancer as a foreign entity, which normally the immune system doesn't. And what we get is selective replication of the virus, uh, engagement of the immune system, and then elimination of disease through the patient's immune system itself. Got it. And then talking to intravenous administration, why is that so significant when it comes to Pelorea Rep? The big hurdle that a lot of oncolytic viruses have is the immune system itself. Um, you put it into the bloodstream through intravenous administration, and it gets quickly eliminated by neutralizing antibodies. Um, which means in most instances, oncolytic viruses are administered locally. So what you're looking for is a local tumor, whether it be prostate, which is often localized, or a brain tumor, or, or more often than not, melanoma. Um, and what they do then is they inject directly into that tumor, which is a fantastic way of getting the virus to a tumor. And there's approvals based on this, but the difficulty is you're really only eliminating that one tumor. Um, you can get remote effects, but these are infrequent. Um, so you're really looking at diseases where there's a single lesion, um, which isn't normally how cancer works. Um, Pelorea rep can be delivered into the bloodstream, even in the presence of neutralizing antibodies, and escape that effect. Um, what this allows us to do is treat metastatic disease or disease that's spread throughout the body. It allows us to treat hematological malignancy, so bloodborne disease. Um, it just really increases the number of indications we can go after because when you think about it, cancer really is a systemic disease. If it was just a localized event, uh, you know, the patient could go for surgery or radiation. Um, but really what uh, impacts these patients' lives is the fact that it is a systemic disease that, you know, is replicating in the lungs, the liver, the lymph nodes. Uh, and the ability to deliver this product systemically really allows us to treat a much broader indication. Got it. And then talking to immune responses, you've kind of foreshadowed this a little bit, but what immune responses are generated when Pella is administered? So when people think oncolytic viruses, they're thinking lysis. They're thinking that the virus is killing the cancer cells, and, and they do to a certain extent. But what Pell is doing is it's replicating in uh, the cancer cell, and the cancer cell then immediately signals to the immune system there's a problem. Um, because the virus's genome or, or its, its double-stranded RNA background looks so foreign in your cells, the cells know there's an infection process going on, so they'll engage... Um, basically proteins in the cell that will bind to elements of the virus and start signaling to the immune system there's a problem. So what we get is a very dramatic first line response from your innate immunity. And this is the release of things like IL-12 and interferons, uh, which engage natural killer cells, which are, are basically the, uh, uh, the, the, the foot patrol or, or the standard policeman, if you will. They come rushing in and they start to eliminate this infected tissue. But this in turn creates a lot of debris. You can imagine they've gone in and, and broken up these cells. This fragments of the cancer cell then can teach your adaptive immune response what the cancer looks like. So in terms of what we're doing, we want to engage innate response followed by adaptive so that the patient gets a long-term benefit in terms of being vaccinated, if you will, against uh, the tumor itself. And we know this is happening certainly in animal models uh, because when the animal is cured of their disease, we can't reimplant it. So the immune system has learned what the cancer looks like and will actively eliminate it from the body as quickly as it can. Outstanding. Okay, so that gives us context for this final question here to get a little bit more information. But how do those immune responses then enable Pella to synergize with multiple immunotherapies? And hopefully, obviously, the ultimate goal being to fight cancer more effectively. Well, if you think about it, um, consider something like checkpoint inhibitors. They're a multi-billion dollar franchise and... They don't actually work on cancer cells. And this is what's really cool about immunotherapies. For the first time in oncology, we're not targeting the tumor, we're targeting the immune system. So we're targeting NK cells and we're targeting T cells to go in and, and kill the cancer cell. 
Now, something like a checkpoint inhibitor, what it does is it takes the brakes off uh, a, a T cell that's become tired or disengaged with the tumor and it makes it active again. But the difficulty is tumors are smart, if you will. They put up walls and defenses so that the immune system never recognizes them. So we have something like an immune checkpoint inhibitor that's making T cells active, um, but what we need is more T cells. And what we need to be able to do is direct those T cells to the tumor. And that's exactly what Pelorea Rep does. Because it causes a very selective replication, um, we get huge productions of T cells. So we basically increase the standard out to the standing army, and then we redirect it to the tumor. It's as though we've taken these very specialized cells and provided them with GPS so that they can get to the, the, the tumor itself and eliminate them. So we're really educating a T cell response and directing it to the tumor. And this is so important because while the virus is active in and of itself, we can use it with other immunotherapies, whether it be immune checkpoint inhibitors or uh, bispecific antibodies or antibodies uh, that target the immune system and really work in conjunction to draw those cells to where they need to be to eliminate the disease from these patients. Outstanding. Really interesting conversation, great information, and obviously looking forward to seeing the continued implementation of this and seeing just how far you guys go. Matt Coffey, Chief Executive Officer, Oncolix Biotech, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.